What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't know, my name is Chris Moore and in today's video, yeah boys, this one's going to be a little different. This is going to be something we've never done before and quite frankly, I don't think anybody else has ever done anything like this either guys. We got a 2024 GSXR 1000, not just any 2024 GSXR 1000, 194 horsepower GSXR 1000 prepped up by yours truly for our giveaway. We are going to be giving this bike away here soon. We're going to start in April and this thing is an absolute banger. It's got Core Moto wheels, a Kropovich full titanium exhaust, Dunlop Q5 tires, Sprint air filter, Carbon Smith Velocity stacks. The list goes on boys. What are we gonna do here today? Well, yeah, we're at the drag strip. What are we gonna race? We're gonna race none other than big country. Hey, big country. I done brought some country style. I'm gonna bust that jigster. Just watch, dude. Country said he got something for us, boys. Let's see what he's driving today. supposed to be taking care of this thing this is for the giveaway also dude you gonna give this away yes this is sick brother turbo charge four wheel drive so today country is gonna be driving a can-am maverick x3 xrs smart shock turbo rr repeat that country i can't do it too, too many letters <laughs> Anyways, this thing's got all the letters, all the numbers, all the R's, all the smart shocks. It's got everything, boys. This thing is absolutely insane. 200 horsepower, country. Oh, More thing. power than your CBR's got. That ain't funny, dude. <laughs> More power than the GSXR's got. This thing is absolutely insane. All-wheel drive action, and we're going to drag race them today. But these, here's the kick. These shocks are bigger than my guns I carry around. These Country. things are huge. Don't put them beside them shocks no more. They look kind of little. Anyways, we're going to race them today at the drag strip, but we're not going an eighth of a mile, guys. We all know GSXR 1000 is going to drive back around a Can Am in an eighth mile. Probably, in a, I mean, who knows? We're going to race 330 feet. That's half track on the drag strip on eighth mile. It's gonna be interesting because this Can-Am absolutely freaking rips out of the hole. Let's line them up, see what she's got. Here we go, boys, at an undisclosed location in Mexico. Me versus Big Country, there he is. He's lined up, we're ready to go. We measured it off, we're almost 300 feet. Hey, three honks! I'm gonna honk, whoa! I'm gonna honk the horn three times. Do not be jumping the gun, country. For some reason, I don't feel like he's gonna do it. All right, guys, we gotta jump the gun here. <laughs> country jumped and messed up. If I get too high, you're chicken. That's what happened. All right, I'm ready, dude. About a 3,500 RPM launch. <laughs> ah! The trash control was holding it back, and thank goodness it was, because she was trying to wheelie big time with me. We're gonna have to turn it down though. It was on trash control two that time. I think I could handle it in one. Huh? So basically, it's got, I think, like 3,800 at like 
like goes in like a safety and I need to leave at like 3500 but the problem is it builds up to like 32 or 33 and then it starts spooling and it's like Ugh. oh all right well I'll tell you what take it to 32 33 and I'm gonna blow the horn three times and then you go when you get ready in other words you get to break okay. that way you can get a better start let's go You ready? Spool up, you little wingleberries. Get it ready, because I'm ready to go, dude. I'm ready now, dude. I just had to learn how to do it. Hey, three honks, and then you go when you want to. I got it, brother. It's simple. 3,500 RPM launch. Let's get her ready. Get her ready. Time to shake and bake. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Wow! Scratch that one off the list for the professional rider mud. God, oh, my, uh, let's call them huevos here in Mexico do not feel too good. I, uh, brother. Dude, the camera flew off, but I caught it. <laughs> we got you that time. You got me that time, dude. This thing was wheeling like crazy. I'm telling you, I bobbled that first time, dude. That wasn't a machine's fault. Best two out of three, country. Let's run her back. Same thing. Yeah, I think she's about out of gas. That's what happened to me. All right, guys. Here we go. We're about to run them back. Me and country. So we come to the conclusion I'm going to give country a one car link head start so I can see when he goes. Because the other way... He was going to be moving. I wasn't even going to be able to tell because I can barely hear that thing over there. Country, you ready? Here we go, boys. Time to shake and bake. Uh-oh, uh-oh. The Can-Am is crazy fast. It just don't quite have enough. I think a little bit of turbo lag is what's giving the GSX-R a pretty fair chance. Dude. I think the turbo lag is giving you a fair chance, dude. Dude, I'm telling you, the problem is you're getting better and better at riding it ever past, dude. That time, dude, you come on the back wheel. All right, guys, the camera mount come loose, so I'm just going to hold the camera this time.
was like door to door the whole time. Door to door, it was so close. My camera shut off, dude. I had mine in my hand the whole time. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. The GSXR, well, let's say we didn't know it was gonna come out on top, but the Can-Am was damn sure a lot closer than I thought it was gonna be. Dude, what can you say? I mean, you know Zook Nation pretty much always comes out on top. I did feel like the Can-Am, I mean, dude, to have a buggy run with a 1,000cc motorcycle? Just imagine if we ran into Can-Am's element like in the grass. Yeah, dude, now, we know- chicks are in the dirt. And I, now, you know, country, we can't take it in the dirt, but overall, the Can-Am, 200 horsepower to GSX-R, let's just call it 200 horsepower. The lightweight prevails this time. Country, what was it doing? It was it was pulling away pretty hard once it passed you though, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, definitely once you got ahead, it was just gonna get worse. The buggy uh, was tapped out, but still, from zero to 60? Buggy, I feel like. <laughs> hey, I tell you this, if anybody else in the world was riding the GSX-R1000, the we buggy's was, winning. Yeah, the buggy's winning. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Now, keep in mind, the giveaway starts in April for the GSX-R1000. Oh, and did I mention you can win the buggy as well? It's one or the other, guys. Whoever the winner is, doesn't matter what you buy to enter to win, doesn't matter what you want to choose when you win. If you're the winner, you pick the GSX-R or the Can-Am side-by-side. -side. Which one are you picking? Comment in the comments below, let me know. Let me know also, did you enjoy this race? It was something goofy, we just wanted to do it, have some fun. I mean, who else has done it? All right, guys, thanks for watching. Smash that like button. We'll see you next time. Peace out.